Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, it's morning. It's not quite 6 o'clock. Getting close, but not quite. I'm down here. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick video, a little update. Be patient with us, with the uploads. Um, yeah, we've been having lights out. We have the generator. We just don't want to always run it like that. And um, also the internet had some slow speeds going on. So I don't know. They're still fixing it or what. But anyway, that's what's been going on. As soon as the uploading, I'm also looking on my end because there might be some settings that I have that are causing the upload speeds to be slow. So I'm checking into all of that, trying to work it out so you guys can get your videos when you're supposed to get them. And until then, just know if you don't see a video one day, you're going to probably get two the next day or something as soon as they upload. I'm still being consistent with getting you guys video every day. But um, yeah, that's what's been going on. So I wanted to get you this update. It's Saturday right now. It's Saturday. So this is what's going on down here at the mini farm guys the turkeys have gotten acclimated very well the ducklings are still there we have um let me look at them all okay one usually goes off on its own somewhere so hopefully i see that one we lost one to the pond the when we had the head pan there I think it couldn't get out. That was sad. We lost one there. So we took the head pan out. And now when the water... When I clean this, I fill this with water. Sometimes in the afternoon, I'll fill it back up. But when the water drains, it drains. And that's it. We lost another one. I don't know if one of the big animals stepped on it. It seemed like it. So we lost two ducklings. So, I see four right now. I'm hoping and praying that the other one is in the back there somewhere. Because he likes to be by himself a lot. Oh, okay. Yep, there's five. So, we still have five. Um, Big Mama is still kind of a bully. But we've been leaving her off of the rope in the morning. Big Boy is handling his own for the most part um the sheep the male sheep mama likes to bully and as you saw i think you saw it um they were the two males were head button and mama came in to ram the sheep so that's what we got going on there guys mean mama she's getting ready to get let out the only reason i haven't let her out yet is because the chicks are still small. There's only two. So for them to huddle together um, and keep themselves warm, I think it's too much for them right now. So I have not let her out. But she is something when I go to feed her and give her water. Sister is here. We do not have any new birth yet on the mini farm. The goats are still holding on. Um, my husband, the turkeys are doing very well. My husband was saying that once the goats give birth, it'll probably be steady. So we have a lot of pregnant goats here. And the goats are the ones that we have to supplement. So we are going to be super busy supplementing. This girl, you know, I've been babying her. She was actually the bigger one, guys. So you have to really be careful with the goats. She was actually the bigger one. And now it seems like this one, she's way bigger now. And she doesn't give this one a chance to get any milk. This one is taking any milk the mama has. And look at her. She's big. Yep. 
so it's like this other one is separated from mama and this one has taken over she has grown bigger and taking the milk yep so that's what's going on there you see these two boys I think it's mainly the scratching and I'm told there's a something in their brain I'm told a worm but I don't really know something in their brains that I don't know they need to activate or it itches sometimes or I don't know how that really goes guys but that's part of the reason they ram and even the females do that the females will come to each other and it's not like they're being mean it's like they're helping each other mm -hmm. so that's what they got going on there's baby girl getting big we have some eggs over here big mama has not gotten yet so we have five um what i do know is the turkeys and the ducks the turkeys are doing great um, what I know is the two mamas we let out and we put all their eight chicks together, right? They were laying. That's why we let them out. They were laying. The, the one that was here laid an egg. And my husband was like, really? I was like, I, yeah, I got it out. It was an egg. He's like, okay. Then when the one over there laid the egg, I, um, showed him. I showed him that she laid an egg, so we let her out. So I guess when Mean Mama lays an egg, we'll let her out. But these chicks are doing very well. They're still alive. We still have them all. So that's a blessing. Mini Farm, it's been quite difficult to keep the chicks. Okay, so five of them were from this white chick. And three of them were from this one the black one not the guinea fowl that chicken that just hopped in yep so that's their chicks and they're doing quite well quite well but like I said those two ladies were laying eggs so we let them out so now the eggs are being fertilized and somebody or maybe both well, maybe we haven't seen some eggs. I haven't really looked a lot. My husband noticed those over there. He usually keeps an eye on it. Um, there's the ducker. Little duckling. Let's see, guys. We, oh, there we. Is that an egg? Let me get in there. Oh, yeah. I guess so. Okay. So we got an egg over there. We have several over here. Probably, I don't know what my husband will do. If he'll put them all together. We'll wait and see. Me and Mama had laid eggs in here. I don't know. I added some mulch in there. Uh, some sawdust. I added sawdust in there. It was a little bit wet. And I went ahead and um, dried it out some. And it was almost dry, but I needed my bowl. So I put it in here to dry the rest of the way. So now it's become the bedding for them. These chicks are doing well. These three ladies are laying. The black one we found out is not laying. And then neither are the other two that are in here so they are fighting mm -hmm. so these are the non-layers so i don't know what their fate will be but that is what we got going on here at the mini farm nana is down here to help we are enjoying lights out and they've been pretty consistent lately i don't know what's going on but the funny part is, is that the whole mountain over there and the whole side, they all have light. So I don't know what's going on here. Um, 
not really sure. But it's all good. I mean, we do have the generator. It's just we don't want to run. You know, we're okay. We don't want to run to the generator every single time. So, yeah. So that's what we got going on, guys. We're going to go ahead and take care of the animals. You see the compound is quite dirty with their poop. This is from one day. So that's why we sweep every day. Hey, Mama. What's up, Mama? What's up, Mama? I saw you being a bully. So that's why the sweeping is every day. Sunday, my husband doesn't sweep, so we can hurry up and go in the morning. But the other days, he does. Saturday, Nana is here. He's helping <laughs> with his American wheelbarrow. Um, yeah, so that's what we got going on. Morning chores. We are blessed to have the mini farm and be able to do morning chores. So we are blessed that God gives us strength and gives us the animals to take care of. Mm-hmm. My husband is on his way down. And, yeah. That's all we got going on. I'll get you guys another video and show you the dogs. And so far, the pack we've decided to keep for now. Um, things change here on the mini farm a lot. So dogs and puppies find their forever homes. And um, yeah, so our pack changes from time to time. And we have our new pack. You guys have seen it. It's not brand new. Three puppies and three adults. So, yeah. So, we'll see. We're taking a break from puppies for right now. It's becoming quite a bit for me. Um, yeah, we're taking a break from puppies for right now. Unless one of our girls was pregnant. And then, um, yeah, we'll get back at it once we get some more systems in place and everything else my husband has been super busy he's having to take more trips to the farm and the new farm land and um yeah nana will have a vacation so he will be helping me a lot so i'm blessed very very blessed he's a very hard worker a very good worker and um yeah very very strong so he takes this big American wheelbarrow and takes it. Grandpa pushes it up here, up this ramp, and then Nana takes it out back and dumps it by himself. If you guys didn't see that video, go back and check it out. You'll see Nana working. Mm -hmm. Check that video out, guys. He does a great job. But anyway, we will come back. We have to come back with a garden update. And... Um, show you guys what we've been doing in the garden as well so uh, uh i don't know if i'll put those two together or make them two separate ones i'm trying to make shorter videos for now since we have a little upload issue so that they can upload quicker for you guys um the other thing i wanted to mention sorry bb sorry bb i didn't know she was in front of my foot um Another thing I wanted to mention, this cassava that my husband picks up is very, very beneficial for all the animals. Even the turkeys get in there and they love it. They absolutely love it. The ducklings, what I do, they can't get up here. So what I do is I take like this and it has some of the little pieces of cassava in it and I just sprinkle it down there and then the ducklings will come and eat it. Yep. Yep. So that's what it is. Yeah. So even the ducklings eat it. All the animals eat the cassava. So there's a power tip for you guys. If you can get cassava peelings, the animals really love it. See? Look at the ducklings coming over for a fresh meal. They really like it. They usually, how I knew that was they stood there. Well, the big, um, 
animals were chewing the cassava and as a piece dropped from the big animal's mouth, they went ahead and ate it. And I said, oh, so they like it too. Okay, so that's what I've been doing is sprinkling it down there for them. Yup. So Nana is sweeping. Grandpa is on his way and I'm going to end this video and start my chores down here. And till next time, God bless you.